Hey folks, it's Alexander with Heritage Tractor here, and today I'm up here in Seneca, Kansas, uh, talking with Roger, the store manager up here. We recently just got in this uh, 4430, and it's a, it's a pretty special unit. Yeah, it's a 1973 4430 with only 2,021 hours on it, so it is very rare. Yeah, and one of the one of the interesting things, you know, with with the 2,000 hours, is it does have the original oil change records inside the cab there as well. Tell us a little bit about the development of the 4430. Well, the 4430 was introduced in the fall of 1972. Um, it was a Generation Two tractor, and it was shipped out to the dealers in the summer of '73. Had a lot of excitement about this series. It had all new styling, uh, new cab, new transmission. Uh, the dealers and farmers were really anticipating this change. The 4430, as I said, was introduced in 1973. Um, it was shipped to the dealers, you know, in June, July, um, and it was a big renovation from the Generation One tractor. Um, completely new styling. Uh, new cab, as you can see, was the biggest deal at the time. Had a new transmission, the quad range they called it, and they also came out with a wet clutch, clutch called the Perma Clutch. Um, but the overall, the biggest change was our cab. And this just wasn't any cab that was just put down on top of the frame. It was a cab really made for this tractor. And they stayed with this line all the way up to 1992. Uh, some of the changes they made were uh, color coded controls, uh, completely new heating and air conditioning, and um, new seats, which was a big deal for farmers. And it was much, much quieter. Uh, so it was really a, a big deal for our local farmers. Okay, and like you said, the, this tractor was, or this cab was specifically designed for this frame, which none of the other, none of the other brands of tractors had that at that time, did they? That's correct. So Deer took a big leap forward and passed the competition were a leap to head accomplished a long ways. Okay. Um, anything else about the sound guard cab that you can tell us about? Well, it's more of a space design. See, the curved glass was really special at the time. No one else had that. All the other cabs were more block, block square, you know, just set on there. Really didn't have a very good air conditioning system that was built in. Um, poor heating, windows leaked dust. This was really a sound tied cab. Okay. So do you guys remember when you got your first 30 series tractors? Yeah, it was in July of 1973. Um, these tractors were shipped from the factory with cardboard all over them so people couldn't see them being shipped, arriving at the dealerships. They wanted to build excitement because Deer knew that this was a big change in, in their overall design. Um, we left the cardboard on the tractor because our crate was you know, that weak. Um, so we ran through the crate with the cardboard on and had our big showing the following week. So you ran it through the Fourth of July with the Fourth of July parade with the cardboard on the tractor. That's correct. And what? How much? How much of the tractor did that cardboard cover? It was all the front, and the cab was completely surrounded. Of course, the wheels were open. And we just cut holes <laughs> in the cardboard, which people see through the windows. That must have been quite a sight to see. It was. It was. It was uh, very exciting for uh, the dealership and for the community and the local farmers. Okay. Well, thank you for your time today, Roger. You bet.